for it. That unlocked something. We're in the right place by the looks of that mechanism. We just need the right brick to fill it in. A guard rushes in front of you, and before you can flinch, the point of a sharp spear draws a bead of blood from the archery in your- Halt! State your name! Now! Go oh, for goodness sake, woman, lower your spear. That is no way to greet a guest. Is Bill. 
I've not known you to be so welcoming, stranger. Have I yet to disappoint your highness in matters of security? Your majesty? Do as she says. Lower your spear. Yes. Of course, my queen. I'm well, watching you. One misstep and I will have your head. Your highness, bloom of Duna, flame of the forge. I present to you the seed of divinity. Queen Justinia sucks in her cheeks, then offers you her unwavering hand. The queen retracts. An audience is granted. I am yet too intrigued to give my word. Now tell me, Iskin, why do you allow this man before you? My queen, the elven specimen before you is a god woken. A claimant to the, the Queen ring. Many have laid claim to Lucian's legacy, including his own inferior spawn. I presume our visitor has more than a vague title to boast of. The God Woken has proven himself a worthy combatant in the joys arena of the One. His name was on the lips of all who roamed there. I appreciate the effort in gaining the respect of one's fellow refugees. You have my attention. Isbel returns. He has escaped the island prison to which the Order confined him. A refugee from the Joy, then. Impressive. Few avoid the Magister's watchful eye. With a brief... <clears throat> the Godwoken arrogated the Lady Vengeance, the very vessel that terrorized the high seas under the Hammer's command. The Queen's eyes grow wide, and she nods appreciatively. Then looks to Isbel. His triumphs as champion of Driftwood are known to all dwarves of Reaper's Coast. His title is not effortlessly earned. Yes, it seems you've proven yourself familiar with sword and sword. The raucous one would not assign the honor of champion lightly. The Godwoken has slain his very own. Alexander, son of the Lake Divine, has Fallen to his superior might. Indeed. Slayed by your hand, then. The cub once pleaded with me to aid in his sorcerer progress. The great sorcerer Riker, a lone wolf known for his manipulation of the innocent dead, died by our visitor's hand, your majesty. I do not know of this Riker. I trust his death was well deserved. Basic decency is none too common in modern Rivalon, though I needn't tell you this. Still, a shame that such a capable man would pursue matters so vile. I am consort to Her Royal Highness Justinia. Ah, let us continue. Our venerated guest has brought hope to the elven tribe. So you eliminated the butcher responsible, I presume. You have earned your swagger, my good man. My queen, the god woken hobbled the black ring by slicing off one of its limbs, a necromancer known as the Sallow Man. Isbale's hot stare burns in splendid. The Black Ring has proven a chaotic element at a time when... I've no more of your accomplishments to announce. If I didn't know better, I'd think you almost... Well, I see no reason to mince words, God. Is Beer, whatever's gotten into you? Melodorous it may be, but this is still a court, not a gallows. Your Majesty, the God Woken is no ally, but enemy. He would throw your plans in disarray. You have worked so hard. Arcs must. All to the death fog. I... I am no monster. Isbeal, what say you? Justinia turned... <laughs> Isbeal? Shut your royal maw, Justinia. Arcs will fall and your men... For a moment, Isbeal appears almost relaxed. Her eyes... Isbeal? Give me, I... Isbel screams in pain and clutches her head. She bo The covenant will be kept. I serve you with living and dying breath. My king, glory be to you.
yourself awake to the cold gaze of a thousand stones and the hot gaze of the dwarf Ismail, right hand of the queen. Oh, good. You're awake. Yeah, first, I figured I'd just kill you. But then I thought, Ispiel, <laughs> you're wasting an opportunity here. Don't bother thanking me just yet, though. I dare say you'll be begging to die before long. <laughs> I'll start with less toxins, just to see how you react and take a pearl strong a dose. Can a god wa Your lips open, but no words spill forth. You try to lift your head, but it is no match for gravity. She has paralyzed you. Only your eyes are free to move. Uh-uh, don't fight it. You'll only make things worse. Oh, but I've been so rude. Oh, it's good to give myself a rest. Those masks can be darned pesky. Good. Make your... Ah, that dose proves quite alarming for my normal subject. Let's try a new approach, shall we? Let's see. You struggle to move, and you feel your toes wiggle, and your fingers twitch. Hmm, interesting. Some of the results are quite unexpected. Now, oh, let's move on to death fog. Live or die, you've already proven most... Well, I was going to say... You... His bell turns the lamp, but no fog wafts forth. In that moment, you feel your bones and muscles awaken. You've re... What? What's wrong with the... God! Come! The man woke is broken free of my spell!
your companions in shock. Blackring influence or not, the enormity of the Queen's plan is revealed to kill everyone in the city. You can't fight darkness with darkness. You just an eye for an eye. Do you think Arx is safe in my death? I faced the grave before, you know. Yet through the God King, I have eternal life. The Master's purpose is his own to speak, not mine. You're good with words, so sincere, I almost believed. But let's pretend I fell for your little persuasion game. I'll tell you the Black Ring's plans on one condition. You release the Death Fog. You bring my mission. Oh, you promise, huh? <laughs> well, a simple yes would have sufficed. If you fail to do as you say, it won't be my wrath you face, but his. As you wish. I haven't forgotten your promise, however. And... Spotted something. That sounds like the Queen. I'm coming. Isbeal, the traitor. Where is she? I will split her black skull in two. Justinia Pound. You may not believe me, but what I did, I thought I did for the sake of my people. The sinking of the peacemaker. The driftwood smuggling operation. Power always comes at a great cost. Sometimes... Sometimes you have to take some lives to save others. And I shall always put dwarven lives first. You must understand this. It was only a matter of time, she said. And I never doubted it. The scouts talked of living weapons nailed to crosses, of black... They had my ear all the while. The Black Ring. I'm sorry. Truly sorry. To think of it. She was a scientist of sorts, or so the town criers. She healed the sick, and... It was after Alexander assembled the quorum that Isbeel turned my mind to sorts of war. Our scouts and spa... When we came to Arx to prepare, she rarely left my side except to tend to her laboratory. Kem? Linda Kem? This rot has infected the very soil we tread and the air we breathe. Lady Kem is known to harbor those in need from foreign lands. So unless you no more grievances to air. The Queen is now free of the Black Ring's thrall. Leave her to only a coward or an imbecile would invite Ispiel into her court. End it here and now. The Queen's continued rule will only lead her people to ruin. The Queen nods a good bye. Until I can return to the kingdom. It seems the Queen can handle herself. The shade of a spirit shimmers before you. The sorcerer, a dissolute dwarf with a big mouth, you were thrown in the slammer. Fort Joy beckoned, but you woke up hooded, being the spirit fades at last to nothing. Mama? Help me, Mama. The lady took something from me. M Mama?
machine sits before you. Pipework tentacles outwards and upwards. The Even through the seal, a faint gossip. That other pipe leads to the sea. Redirect the flow. It'll minimize the harm. The only way to keep Ark safe is to smash this thing to pieces. Do it. Redirect the depth fog. Better to poison the fishes than to poison the people. Sparks fly, and metal plate the death fogs. If I were mortal, I'd be getting the hell out of here. Arcs was still a free city, last time I checked. 